Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Wait Bhaika Gyan. Today we will discuss about Vandenberg reaction. You have definitely heard about this reaction in physiology, biochemistry, pathology and sometimes in medicine also. Because whenever you study the hepatic disorder, you will definitely study the Vandenberg reaction also. This Vandenberg reaction is used to differentiate the unconjugated bilirubin from the conjugated bilirubin. So with this reaction we can interpret it or we can diagnose that which type of hepatic disorder is there whether it is pre-hepatic, hepatic or post-hepatic disorder. So this reaction is really very helpful. So before discussing about the Vandenberg reaction we should know the general physiology of liver. So here is the diagram shown on the screen. You can see here that uh, there is three level. First is prehepatic level, the another one is hepatic level and the next is uh, post-hepatic level. So there are uh, any hepatic disorder can occur at these three levels. So we all know that a general level or a normal level of hemolysis always occur in the body. So whenever hemolysis occur the hemoglobin is breakdown into heme and globin and this heme further finally converted into the bilirubin and this bilirubin there will, will present in the form of free or unconjugated bilirubin. This unconjugated bilirubin is really very difficult to excrete from the body that's why liver convert this into the conjugated bilirubin via the glucuronide conjugation and make it water soluble so it is it will be easy to excrete this from the body now this conjugated bilirubin goes to the intestine via bile duct so and from there it will excrete it by the feces and the urine so let's talk about the prehepatic disorder it means uh, whenever there is excess hemolysis, it may be due to hemoprotozoan like Babesia, Thylaria or it may be due to any iron or mineral deficiency. So if there is excess hemolysis, there is a increased amount of unconjugated bilirubin and because of this liver is unable to conjugate this. So that's why the accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin starts in the blood. So uh, if we are uh, in the Vandenberg reaction, we get to know that there is increased unconjugated bilirubin. We can say that it is a prehepatic disorder because the liver is normal and uh, the post structures or the post physiology of, of the liver is also normal. But the problem is there in the prehepatic level means that there is excessive hemolysis and that's why liver is not able to compensate this. So this is the prehepatic disorder. Now let's talk about post-hepatic disorder. In this, in, in this type of cases, there is a uh, hemolysis is normal. The liver is also healthy and normal, but there is obstruction in the bile duct. You can see the bile duct. This bile duct will be occluded. So uh, because of this, the conjugated uh, bilirubin made by the liver is not able to pass through the uh, intestine into the feces. So that's why it starts to accumulate in the liver and also in the blood. So if you find uh, the increased amount of conjugated bilirubin in the blood, this means that there is a post-hepatic disorder. So let's move to the hepatic disorders. So uh, in the hepatic disorders, there is degeneration and necrosis of hepatocytes and hepatic tissues. So because of this, the liver is not able to conjugate the unconjugated bilirubin properly. But the one thing here to be remembered is this that the uh, degeneration of liver is not sudden or is not complete. It is a gradual process. It means that the complete liver will not get affected at sudden. So the some part of the liver is normal uh, at this point so liver is uh, continue uh, to uh, con conjugate the bilirubin but the rate is really very very slow so because of this the unconjugated bilirubin is increased because uh, it uh, it will accumulate it in the blood uh, because liver is not able to conjugate uh, this at the perfect rate the rate is really very slow so because of this un unconjugated bilirubin is increasing in the blood so uh, as well as this, the conjugated bilirubin, 
which uh, which were made by the uh, liver in the slow process so uh, this uh, conjugated bilirubin is not able to come out in the bile duct because of the uh, necrosis the diffusion rate is again very slow so because of this the this conjugated uh, bilirubin is also uh, get accumulated there and the amount of uh, this conjugated bilirubin in the blood is also increased so if you find in the waldenbach reaction that there is increase in both unconjugated as well as conjugated bilirubin so you can say that uh, uh, there is any hepatic disorder or there is any problem with the liver so let's come to the reaction the reagent which is used in this reaction is van den berg reagent which is the mixture of sulfonylic acid and sodium nitrite so what we have to do we have to uh, mix the serum into this reagent at the end we get the purple color so the time duration taken by this reaction uh, on the basis of this we can divide this into three reaction so if we get this purple color into only 30 second this means this is the direct positive reaction it means we can say after this that uh, in the serum there is conjugated bilirubin is present as conjugated bilirubin is water soluble so it acts very fast to the reagent that's why the color appear within 30 seconds so here we got to know that uh, the uh, amount of conjugated bilirubin is increased in the serum and here we can interpret that because of this uh, uh, increased amount of conjugated bilirubin we can say that there is obstructive or post hepatic disorder then uh, if we are uh, if we got this reaction uh, in the 30 minute means the time duration is increased it means that this reaction is indirect positive means there is increased amount of unconjugated bilirubin in the serum so here we can interpret that the uh, if unconjugated bilirubin is increased in the blood it means there is a hemolytic or prehepatic disorder and if we are uh, if we found the reaction biphasic means uh, there is uh, this reaction is taking time as well as when we eat the methanol or any type of alcohol in this reaction we got to know that uh, there is uh, the color of purple become more darker than the earlier it means there is a biphasic reaction this means there is that the both unconjugated as well as conjugated bilirubin are both present in the blood serum so here we can interpret that this is the hepatic type of disorder so this is all about this video if you like this video just share it with your friends thank you so much for watching this video